Hello everyone, it's Pastor Lon here at Homestead and Pastor along with my beautiful wife Robbie Lynn. Hope all of you are having a good week this week. And uh, as you know, we're getting closer and closer to Christmas. And uh, that's something we want to talk about a little bit tonight. Um, I think I decided to title this, How It Was Growing Up During Christmas Time in Rural, rural Small Town, South Carolina. And I'm not talking about the way we raised our kids. I'm talking about the way it was when Robert Lynn and myself were um, kids coming up in the 70s and, and the 80s being born in the late 60s. And uh, things are a whole lot, my opinion, was a whole lot better back then. Um, and we're going to talk about some of the differences, the changes that's been made. And uh, my opinion, again, is mostly for not for the good, unfortunately. I'm, it's not a negative video. I just want us to reminisce a little bit about the way things used to be. And uh, it is what it is today, and we got to deal with it and try to make Christmas special for our kids. But I miss the times that I grew up in as a kid, uh, especially during Christmas time in the country in South Carolina. Do you agree with that? Amen. So, um, as we always tell you, please leave comments below about some of your, uh, if any of them grew up or born around the same age as Rob Lynn and I, or maybe born before us in the early 60s or mid 60s or 50s or 40s or whenever you were born and tell us about some of the things that you uh, experienced as a child and the changes that you see now, whether they be for, for the better or for the worse. So again, this is only uh, about mine and her childhood growing up in South Carolina in the country during Christmas time. So with that being said, one of the main things, every time we do a video, Robert Lynn gets sleepy. It's just to come smell. We just so <laughs> relaxed. That's the first one I've done since the mountain. You, you ain't got to tell them they know. <laughs> but uh, I know y'all glad to see her on here. Let her know you're glad to see her. You just had my ugly self last week. I'm glad to have her back with us tonight. But anyway. I'm not married to an ugly man. Huh? I'm not married to an ugly man. Okay, well, I'll take that. I won't, I won't, I won't argue with that point. Mm -hmm. As long as you happy, babe, that's all that matters to me. Good. All right, so one of the main things that um that I wanted to talk about right off the bat, I think when we were growing up, that you've seen then, you don't see as much now, is family gatherings, fellowship, the food, the meals, the togetherness, and the unity of the family. And when you say family gatherings, that was the whole family. Right now you have, like, my family, your family, you know. Yeah. But Individual then, small families. Then it was grandma and grandpa and the whole clan that yep. got together. And speaking of that, the way it was or is in our family when, like, my grandparents passed away and her grandparents passed away, um, seemed like the rest of the family kind of scattered and they don't get together now like they used to. We stopped gathering at Granny's house. We did. St unfortunately, we did. And I was thinking too early today, like, used to when some of our uh, family members that had moved out of town or moved away from South Carolina, either in another town in South Carolina we had to travel a good many miles or in another state. When granny and granddaddy was living, they always came back home. Now they got their own families and they, a lot of times they stay in other states and uh, and like that's, that takes away from the and family it gatherings as well. Time to, to, to make it happen. It don't. So I think that's the number one thing in our opinion that we've seen when we were growing up at Christmas time. And this could be all year long, but we talk about Christmas because of the season we're in. But the family, unity of the family is not there like it used to be. And all we can do is try to make it special for our children and uh, my brothers and sisters, her brothers and sisters. But as far as the whole family, like she said, unfortunately, that's not the way it is anymore. Y'all let us know how it is in, in your neck of the woods. Some of the other things that growing up in South Carolina that we used to do, especially on Christmas Eve night, was um, we used, used to pop firecrackers all the time. Um, I've had my hands burned. They'd have those little. We, we, we never smoked, Robin and myself, either one, but uh, we would have. What are you looking at me like for? <laughs> okay. You, we don't go there. We, you, you might have experimented with your aunts and uncles back in the day. But anyway, um, she was never a smoker. I was not a hubby. I just. Kids trying it. Yeah. We smoked those long on. What you call them? Off the Catawba worm tree? Yeah, what we call cigars <laughs> off the Catawba worm tree. Indian cigars. Yeah. Or we would go around sometimes with those, the candy used to get, which I'm going to talk about in a minute, used to be those little candy. Can you believe they used to have a candy 
um, cigarettes. cigarettes, and it would chewing even gum. it would even blow. Yeah, it was chewing gum, but you blow it, it blow smoke out the end of it. Hell, a red dot on the end of it, trying to teach us children to smoke at a very young age. How back crazy! Then, they were yeah, way back then. But anyway, enough on that. Uh, but Christmas Eve, we used to pop firecrackers a lot, and man, back in the day, I would you know they would light them and you throw them up in the air. Or how many of you? They used to call them. Um, sky, some people call them skyrockets. We call them bottle rockets around here lots because you take a Pepsi Cola or Coca Cola over. They had glass bottles back then. You couldn't do it with some of this plastic stuff they use. They make today. But we had glass bottles. You put them in that bottle and shoot them up in the air. Or some of them get brave enough and shoot them at one another. Unfortunately, uh, Roman candles. Shoot those Roman candles and just a line of firecrackers. Uh, there's so many different things. But it was simple, just regular firecracker. Now you got all these. Atomic bomb like stuff that they spend so much money on, but I know it was bad. But we used to get in like our older, like my uncle and some older ones around the neighborhood. We'd get in car different cars and go around shooting, shooting at one another. <laughs> yeah, shooting fire fire uh, bottle rockets at one another. Mm -hmm. Yep, how crazy is that? But those are some of the things we used to do on Christmas Eve night. Well, we didn't um, try to shoot each other with guns. Oh no, we didn't. We didn't. Not not like it, it is today. Something that wouldn't kill you. Yep. Hopefully. <laughs> I poke your eye out, but uh, <laughs> no. Nah. But anyway, um, some of the other things we used to look forward to on Christmas Eve night at our grandparents, hers and mine was uh, the opening the gifts at, at each uh, at my grandparents, and she had her own family, her grandparents at that time. But um, we used to look forward to those. Everybody would come. Everybody in my family when I was at my granny's, and everybody when she was a child, a uh, kid at uh, her granny's, that would get together. We would get together in our family. And um, had I always had a big meal. And you don't have to worry about encouraging the people to, to, to cook a meal. Back then, they loved to cook. You know, they loved to bring that meal. Most kind of like, the time, Granny did most of the cooking. True. But some of the, if you asked somebody to bring something, they would bring it back then. Now, yeah. it's hard to, you can't only get people to, to you bring it. Buy a, a home, uh, store bought pie and bring it in. Yeah. But that's sad, but that's the way it, way it is now. But we used to look forward to opening the gifts, and that's what we would do open gifts. Have a meal. The kids would play outside and not be all up in grown people's business. Kind of like we used to sit on the porch in the summertime. But we'd be out there playing with bottle rockets and doing the things we do uh, done back then. And it was just a different time, a different era. And um, I miss those days. And most of the time it was cold. That's what another thing I was getting ready to say. Now it's going to be 70-something <coughs> degrees this weekend. When, when Christmas came around, it was cold. We used to, my granny... Uh, I think your granny used to too cook uh, heat with wood. Yeah. And when you got the wood in, my granddad worked at a sawmill. Well, he would bring truckloads of those blocks of um, the wood. They would cut off those what they call cants, which is the the um, the part of the, the tree that they would trim the boards off of it, and they have the big cants or whatever. Like a, it's kind of like a six by six post now, but they would cut those off in two foot lengths, and he would load them on his truck. He got home and us boys would unload them on the big old wood pile and then but when it was Christmas time, even in Thanksgiving, early November or so around here, um, we'd start loading up the porch with wood and you knew it was winter time and it stayed winter time until it was time for spring to come around. So that was another thing. If we got a snow here um, around Christmas time or any time in the winter, it was a big deal. Because mm -hmm. we didn't get much snow here in South Carolina. Like you do up in the it upstate. Still is a big deal. It's it still is a big deal. But, uh, yeah, when it was cold and they had that fire going, I remember we used to go in there and Granny would have. And the, another thing I remember about that time of the year from Thanksgiving on, she would always have sweet potatoes, whole sweet potatoes in the oven that she would cook. And she made homemade biscuits. And her biscuits were kind of like Robin Lynn's today. You could eat them hot or cold. It didn't matter. And she'd always have those sweet potatoes in the oven from Thanksgiving right on up through Christmas. You just go in there and peel that baby back and heat it up, put you some butter on it. And back then, you didn't heat it up in the microwave. We didn't have one. You had to heat it up on the oven. Or sometimes I would take tinfoil and put it up on that wood heater and let it heat up. And, uh, man, that was some good That was some good eating back then. But those are some of the things that we've done around Christmas time. Um, what else do I have written down here? Um, and most of the time, as far as me and my grand, my daddy's side of the family, we would open gifts to his, uh, his my, those grandparents, the Al family, side of the family on Christmas Day. And my granddaddy was a big cook. He could really cook good, and uh, him and my nanny both, but he done most of the cooking, and uh, he'd always have a good meal. And what y'all mainly do on Christmas Day? Back then, your grannies? Most of the time? Not most of the time, we didn't. It was Christmas Eve at granny's, that was it. Okay. We were just 
Yeah, I'm not to do on Christmas Day, I guess. No, we went, usually, most of the time we went and seen Papa, which is my mama's daddy. Oh, yeah. We see him on Christmas Day, but then when we got together and got married, it was my granny, oh, your yeah. granny, your mama's, my mama's. I mean, it was like, it was, oh, Lord, dragging them children here. And yeah, there and there. yeah, it was. But it wasn't, they don't seem like it was like that when we were kids. No. don't seem like it had that no. when we were kids, and that's... Man, want to focus focus on, but even back then, you know, we, you know, we were raised up um, to believe in Santa Claus, and my my mom and daddy. The whole time I was a kid, my mom and daddy wasn't Christians; they weren't saved. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, you whatever you think about Santa Claus or not. But as a child, we did. We were raised that way to believe that way. We would leave out the the cookies and the milk for Santa Claus and all that stuff. We look forward to all the gifts on Christmas morning. I remember I was thinking today I had a I got a 10-speed bicycle one time, and I hope at my, uh, it's probably still at my daddy's house. My mama's passed on, but she used to keep all those pictures. And back then, you took pictures with a regular camera. You didn't have a phone, a cell phone, all that today, but she's got a hard copy of a picture of me with that 10-speed bicycle, and that was really something special to me. And as far as my granddad Al, probably the best thing I ever got there. I got a lot of gifts from him but uh, or for that family, but I still got a... Uh, I can't mm -hmm. It's a 410, but I was trying... Al, um, Golly, I can't think of the name of it, but it's a something Harrison Richardson, I believe, is the name of that 410 I have, single shot 410, and we used to use that to shoot squirrels and rabbits and stuff like that. But the Christmas lights? No, not the 410. <laughs> that was a pellet gun. That was another thing we used to do when we were kids that I'm not too proud of. Is uh, we um, you didn't actually tell him that. Mm. Was bad, That's what we done. The, back then they had a lot of those big old bubs on the Christmas old tree, old fashioned bubs, and me and my brother. My cousin Tinker and a few more around the community, we would go around and we were bad. We would shoot some of those Christmas lights out. And I, like I said, that was... Uh, Each I, one of you get a different color. Yeah, we would. And we would about darken the tree. Unfortunately, that's sad to say, but I'm just telling you the truth. Ain't nothing hidden here at the homestead, but uh -huh. that's what we've done. Now, what would you do if somebody, a kid come Oh, I'd be, I'd be very <laughs> upset when they were upset too. We shouldn't have done that, you know? If you got any kids watching this, kids don't do what I done when I was a kid as far as that goes. But I did, and that's something I can't deny. Um, let's see. Leave milk out for Santa Claus. Where is that? I read, I said something about that. Um also we right. also look forward to the parades in, in Darlington. And back then, unlike today, when you had a Christmas parade, it was on Saturday, not on Sunday. And now they have them on Sundays, and we we don't get to go to them because they're usually on Sundays, which I don't like that anyway. But then they're usually around church four evening service, 4 or 5 o'clock, and we're not going to skip church to go to a parade. So anyway, we used to look forward to those parades, though. They'd come along and throw the candy out, and you'd go out and grab that candy um, off the street. And I can even remember there was a few times when we were real young when the train used to come through Dulles, where they would throw candy off that train. And there was a few times that... During Christmas time, they'd have like a Santa Claus in the back of that caboose throwing off, can throwing out candy to the kids. So that was real. That was pretty special too. Um, we used to put pennies on speak, that track. Yeah, speaking of that, hold that a minute. I'm hold this up. How many of you ever seen one of these? Shalene Smith gave you these, I think, one of my church members. She's She'll watch this video. But Her and Ronnie collected they, antiques, and they used to have an eBay store, right. but they don't have it anymore. And she gave us these. Hen, I think it's called Hen and Chicks. Yeah, like something like that. But anyway, the one my granny had was a little bit bigger. You take the top off like, but she used My granny used to keep it full of hard candy, hard Christmas candy. Man, I used to love that hard Christmas candy. And, uh, I got six of those big ones. Counting different this Different colors. But anyway, we got them now, but when I saw those and Shalene gave them to us, first thing I thought about was my granny's house. And she, I think your granny used to have them too, but had that hard candy, especially Christmas time, man, all the different colors. and It was Christmas candy. It was Christmas candy. That's what it was called. And you used to have candy canes with the hook on it. And you also remember they used to have those long, solid, uh, it, was a, it was like a candy, like peppermint, but it was like a solid roll, about big around as your thumb and about that long. You, they were good too. Mm -hmm. um, but... Stuff like that just really is stuck in your memory bank when you were raised in the time that we were raised in back then. Another thing, too, that back in those days around Christmas time was the Sears and Roebuck catalog. That's what we had here. And you look forward to 
looking through that catalog. And that's what people don't realize today. I believe that's why we don't appreciate the stuff we get today because we get Christmas as far as gifts. I know that uh, Christmas is all about Jesus Christ. And my granny and her grandparents, um, you know, they believed in Jesus and they took us to church and served in the church and all that. But again, my mom and daddy was not Christians my entire childhood growing up. Um, matter of fact, I believe when we got married in 87, they wasn't going to church in 87. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, so that's what I'm saying. We were, we weren't raised that way, but I'd go to church with my grandparents. She'd go to church with her mom because she was say, uh, Christian at a very young age, what, 15 or so? My mom? No, you. Oh yeah. Yeah. 14, so, 13. <clears throat> so, um, you know, as I was saying, we, uh, children are not grateful today because they get so much all through the yeah, year. and uh, we used to sh shop at the local dime store here in Darlington called, I think it was McClellan's. Five and Dime. Five and Dime on the dime store. And man, they had that old wooden floor. You'd go in there, kind of like my granddad LG's convenience store that he had here in, in, in Dullesville. But you go in that Five and Dime store, the dime store, and buy stuff, and it was just it was just different, man, back then. All the different goodies and the toys. And the only time you saw you, toys was at Christmas time. Yeah, if you saw uh, the toys in the store, you knew it was Christmas time. They didn't have them like they are today. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's the plan of the enemy, and that's caused the kids today to be ungrateful for a lot They a lot of stuff they have. They don't appreciate the small stuff in life because they're spoiled all year round, unfortunately. Speaking of shopping locally, um, and our parents always made sure we had had gifts at Christmas time, and um, like I said, that ten speed bicycle I had, that four ten um, single barrel shotgun, my granddaddy had, had bought me, and, and and then one year we got a go kart and a moped, a moped. But um, you got all the good stuff. Well, I mean, <laughs> my dad didn't always have a good job. He ended up getting a good job when I was got a little bit older when he worked at um, Newcore, but. Early on at Perfection Gear, he didn't have a, as good a job, but he got a better job. We got better things for Christmas. Um, but at the same time, um, they would have to, Stephen at that, though, they would lay stuff away. They'd go to their local store and do layaway. Kmart, Kmart Griffin, 80, Griffin 88 store. And they would lay stuff away. And those of you that's old as we are, or, or older, uh, maybe a little bit younger, you know, a lot of people may watch this later on and say, What in the world's layaway? But you know, you go pay down on it and they put it aside for you and you pay, you pay a little months, yeah a pay week. payments on it a week or month or whatever so you paid it off um when my granddad who used to run the convenience store he had that what you call a charge account back then it was just a, they had no computers he write it down on a little piece of put paper it put it on your tab and you just pay on that tab and add to the tab and pay on the tab and stuff like that but and my mom and him always decorated Christmas trees and put up some um, um, decorations in the house and really didn't put up a lot outside. Um, might have been afraid me and my brother shoot the lights out. I don't know. But anyway, um, and I noticed now looking back, and I'm not saying this negative on my mom and dad, but they weren't in church, but it, I never remembered them having a nativity scene uh, manger when I was growing up. It was all about the Christmas tree and, and stuff like that. But as I got older, of course, and become a Christian right before Robin and I, um, I got saved in 1986, but from then on, it's always been, of course, we put up Christmas tree and decorations and all, but it's all been about, all been about Jesus Christ in our life. That's why we tried to raise our kids, because that's what it's all about. Without Jesus Christ, you know, nothing else matters in this world anyway. Um, let me hurry for sake of time. I got a few more things. Um, as we said earlier, when you saw those toys in the store, you knew it was Christmas time because they didn't store them in the store all year round. Um, and uh, about, that, about that catalog, that Sears and Roebuck catalog, you would circle what you wanted in that catalog and and um, hopefully that was what you would get for Christmas. We um, knew the JCPenney too. Yeah, JCPenney, Sears and Roebuck. Um, but those are some of the things that we done during our um, childhood. Is there anything else you can think of? Oh, and they did have, back then they had a Christmas play about every year yeah. at the local church at where we grew up at in church, and we'd go to that Christmas play. Um, you know, like I said, it was just a different time back then, and it was a simpler time back then in our childhood. Like I said, growing up and being born in the late 60s and growing up through the 70s and the 80s, um, that was really, really special. And to explain that to a child today, they wouldn't know what you were talking about. I guess too, back then, 
when we were young, we didn't have to worry about the grown-up stuff that we have to worry about. Well, that's now. true, too. Yeah. We just enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, now we see what our parents went through to make sure we had a good Christmas and had a good life growing up. But needless to say, <laughs> it made my brother talk Being about grown it. Up sucks, huh? <laughs> well, sometimes it, it gets it gets kind of tough. But you always used to think when you were a kid, man, I can't wait till I get 18. I can't wait till I get 25. I can't wait till I can shave. Then you throw the razor away. But just things like that in your life. And now it's our responsibility. But life sure was a lot simpler back then. And I really enjoyed my childhood. And, you know, young people today would think we're crazy. They, they, don't, they think you're out of style. But they really don't know what they're missing when you would get something. Christmas come around. One other thing I want to talk about. Christmas come around one time a year. And that's when you mainly got your gifts. But also... When we were growing up, we looked forward to watching Frosty the Snowman on TV. One time. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer on TV. And what else? Um, many other Christmas shows that we watched. And you only watched it that one time. If you missed it when we were growing up in the 70s, you didn't get to see it again until Christmas came around. Mm -hmm. Right? Now you can watch it anyway. Now you can watch it all the time. And there's a lot. My brother and I were talking the other day. A lot of kids today, they don't even, they won't even sit, down, sit around and watch uh Christmas um, stories or movies like that anymore. We watched it here the other night. Rudolph um, with our entire family minus, but Corey uh, Cor was here. All of them were here. And um, what's amazing about that, Bradley's watched that thing so many times when he could see. When he gets to a certain scene in Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer, Bradley can tell you who's speaking, what color clothes they got on, whether they got a hat on, a glove, a scarf, and what the next scene's about. He can tell you everything about that movie on show, movies, whatever you want to call it. And back then, it seemed like it lasted so long. And now, it's gone just like that. But, again, I'm going to wrap this up with y'all knowing that we know that Christmas is all about the birth of Jesus Christ. And that's what we celebrate here at the Owl House. And, uh, but we just did want to reflect back because our life as a child, we had a childhood and we were, we were grateful for that childhood. And life was a lot simpler back then. Yeah, we done, like I said, things we shouldn't have done. Uh, I might as well go ahead and tell everything about the, uh, I shoot, used to shoot the lights out with the BB gun, pellet gun, but I also, my granny, my, my, my grand, my nana, my, my daddy's mom and daddy, they had a chain link fence, they had reflectors on each, wherever there was a driveway or a gate, and me and my brother, we'd shoot those reflectors out, my granddad would replace them, he thinks somebody else done it, and one day, he called us shooting them, and also, he put floodlights in the front of his building out there, and we shot the floodlights out the building. And then he put more in there. With it. We didn't do that but a few times. Um, he made sure of that. I'll just leave it at that. But that's what we done, unfortunately, as little boys that we shouldn't have been doing. Rain gauges on the end of the clothesline. Why did they take your guns? He did. He did for a while, but then they'd give, give them back and we'd do it, do it again. But, um, hey, I, I, I would not uh, do anything like that today. And if my boys done something like that today, they know they'd be in trouble. I should have gotten more of a whipping than I did for doing such a thing as that, but that's what we've done. And uh, I ain't proud of it today, but that's what we've done. So, anyway, um, we just wanted to share a little bit of our childhood growing up in rural South Carolina in the country during Christmas time. We had a ball. I miss those days. Those days, those parades were just awesome. I, I miss those times in my life. But... Today's a new day. We're going to make Christmas special this year for our family and tell the world it's all about Jesus Christ. Please leave us some comments below and let us know about your childhood growing up, wherever you're from, wherever, what state or what country you live in. Um, and don't be shame, ashamed to tell a little... Um, mischievous. Yeah, maybe. that's the word. I'm, you say that because I can't say it. Mischievous. Yeah. The little things that you used to do that you're not proud of today because everybody's got a little skeleton in the closet when it comes to stuff like that. But um, anyway, if I had to do over again, that's probably something I wouldn't do. But everything else I named, I would want it just like it was before. Because, we, like I said, we enjoyed our childhood growing up. So share some comments below about your childhood. I uh, hope you all have a Merry Christmas. I hope we'll see you on the live uh, Monday night. That'll be the last live before Christmas. So uh, until next time, remember, Jesus Christ loves you. And Jesus Christ is the answer for any and everything we're dealing with in life. Hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the night.